All right, y'all, I'm back. I have seven looks for you featuring All I Ever Wanted, volume two. Yes, seven looks, okay? As you know, this palette is chucked full of shades, and this is what it looks like. This is by Unearthly Cosmetics. They used to be Alien Cosmetics, if you weren't aware, and this is what the beautiful palette looks like. So it is a volume two to their first palette, which was All I Ever Wanted. And you know, that palette kind of broke the internet. Everybody loved it. So, you know, I have high hopes for this one and we're gonna do our seven looks and I wanna let you know, is it really worth it, okay? Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So as I just mentioned, I have seven looks for you today and I'm not gonna ramble too much because we got a lot of looks. We're gonna have some comparisons at the end between All I Ever Wanted Volume 1 and two, but let me introduce myself real quick. So if you are new to this channel, welcome. And if you're oldie but goodie, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup and eyeshadow truly is my jam. It is like my favorite thing for sure. And please just call me Ash or Ashley, okay? So I mentioned before that we have the All I Ever Wanted Volume 2 by Unearthly Cosmetics. This actually came out, I want to say, whoa, hold please, I'll let you know. <laughs> so this palette was actually available May 27th and it was not a pre-order. So you did get your shipments pretty much right away. Now, because this is a small indie brand and it's basically a one woman show, uh, she, she did get ill, that her name is Amanda and she did get ill and so the order processing times were definitely delayed by that but she kept us abreast of the situation via her instagram now i the price of this palette is actually 86 dollars, which means i told a little fib at the end of the video when i thought it was 56 dollars. no it's 86 dollars. so i guess we're really gonna let you know is it worth it to pick it up so a few things about unearthly cosmetics they did used to be alien cosmetics if you know them by that name they had a name change rebrand they are unearthly cosmetics and it's just basically that um, some of the shadows were reformulated. Now they're um, cruelty free and they're Leaping Bunny approved. This palette is good for 12 months once you open it. The packaging is recyclable. So um, they do have a small warning for some um, external use only and also discontinue any use if you have any irritation. And this palette was actually made in the PRC, but they are still cruelty free because they're not selling in the PRC and they do ship worldwide. So, you know, um, I have been rocking with an Earthly Cosmetics or Alien Cosmetics for quite a while now and I have been enjoying their palettes. Um, so I was actually really excited to get this one. So like I said, I have seven looks for you. So let's go ahead, let's jump on M. I'm filming these over a couple of days because as I've been mentioning lately and I miss you guys so, time is just not allowing your girl to film the way I want to. But let's just go ahead and get into these looks. Of course, we're gonna do some thoughts along the way. We're gonna wrap up at the end and I'm gonna show you some comparisons between the two palettes. Let's go ahead and get started with the looks. I have, I'm gonna try to do a lot of looks, so I don't wanna to talk too much. I have my eyebrows filled in. You'll see my Goof Proof Pencil, shade 3.75 as always. Then I went ahead and took my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Cafe. Since this is an all shimmer palette for my mattes, once again, jumping in with the Blends Bunny Cosmetics. This is the Dow House palette, and I'm gonna use this for my mattes, and I might also jump in with my Viseart dark mattes um, palette as well. So, cause it has a few different shades. But let's go ahead and get started.
here are the first two looks, so really pretty, but I would say that I wore this particular shadow yesterday, which was Luna, which is the really sparkly one on the inner side of my eye and or inner corner inner lid there we go that's better <laughs> so i used luna yesterday and i paired it with the same mattes but the one difference i did not put what is this velvet on the outer corner and i think without pairing velvet it came out so much prettier like it's still pretty but you were really able to see the impact of the shade luna so one thing i would say is to you know these shadows, I feel like they do best when you just kind of put one on instead of trying to put a bunch on like I did here also, where I layered basically two and then put the lid shade on. So um, I went in with Storm, but Storm wasn't as deep as I thought it was going to be. So this is Storm. And so then I went in with a little bit of Poe just to kind of deepen out that outer corner just to give a little bit more depth. And really enjoyed the shade rain i think it's really really pretty so it can definitely do blue or purple depending on what type of matte you put it with i put it with a more violet uh, matte so it brought out the more purple now for my face details i did go in with my mark jacobs uh shameless foundation i am still shamelessly trying to pan this okay and i took my bronzer and with this is the minted bronzer in the shade vacay you know I, I bring this out every video y'all or if it's your first time coming here you know this is what she looks like we're getting a little pan on here you know trying to use up what we have then i went in with my best buds best buds blush and this is from menagerie and this is the dual chrome blush i kind of went ham so i did kind of tone it down a little bit I was like, I went ham on one side and I had to kind of fix it. You know, you know how it is. <laughs> Lashes are struggling, but they're on. Um, I usually use this Velour Lash and Go to apply my lashes, which is so helpful. It's a hybrid liner. I do have a video on this where it's like, you know, an eyeliner and an eyelash glue. Works fabulously, but it's kind of drying out and... I've had it for a long time and I can't find it. I, I guess it's not available right now. I don't know. They still have like the stickers up. It just looks like it's not available. It's not in stock. So then I topped off my lips with the Pat McGrath and this is the Flesh 4 and this is the Opulus. No, this is a Lust Gloss. Lust Gloss. So those are my face details. I think the looks are really pretty. I'm going to come up with some more looks, but I'll probably just stick to maybe one shade and maybe an inner corner it just kind of looks it goes better you can just definitely see what the shade is intended to be so oh my water lines real quick this one i went ahead oh man i forgot to put bottom mascara on Ooh, it'll be okay <laughs> so this eye line i went in with my Danessa Myrie's i can't speak good grief i went in with my emerald liner from domestic so I went in with my emerald liner from Danessa Myricks on this eyelid and on this particular eyelid I went ahead and took my amethyst so I do have a tiny bit of mascara on this one not on this one but those are the two looks I'll be back
I'm back with look number three and four, and they are really beautiful. But whoo, this shade right here has a lot of fallout. So I really like how this shade is kind of like a bronzy shade and it's neutral and brown. It's very, very pretty. And this one, you're kind of getting like the lemon gold, but you're not, and you definitely could tell the different textures of the shades. Uh, this one was a lot flakier in the pan and it just looked flakier. So I was like, let me just use my finger, but that turned out to be a lot too. So if you're gonna use this shade, I would definitely maybe, you know, if you're gonna use a brush, wet the brush, you put use your finger a little bit, then build it up. You still might get some fallout, because I definitely did. And you know, it was kind of flaking off in the plan also. So I just kind of had to like just blow the little specks away. But really, really pretty shade. And the same with here. I can also see here that we have quite a few yellow shades. Um, so I did use this one right here, and you can actually see that. No, I'm lying. Hmm. What did I do? Okay. I use this one right here. Yes, and it was definitely more pink. And then for Shiva, which is down here, I used it here, which is definitely giving more peach. And I really like the peachness of the shade. And then I think I stuck my finger in the, the shade so you could see. Yeah. I <laughs> got quite a bit of fall. <laughs> it's like, okay. It's a lot going on here. And then just to kind of tie the look together because this particular shade was so flaky, I just went ahead and popped in with Dolly, which is a really smooth um, yellow gold metallic. So this one is just really smooth, really, you know, a standard shade, something like you would possibly compare it to gold standard by Pat McGrath. Beautiful, but a serious yellow gold. Okay, so... These are the third and fourth look. Really pretty, really neutral. Honestly, I could probably find it in any of my, any palette, really. Well, I wouldn't say any palette, but I could, I could find it in my collection. That's what I'm really trying to say. So, but I'm not saying that the looks aren't beautiful. But I'll be back with a couple more looks. So I'm going to wrap up for tonight because it's getting a little late and my eyes are getting a little irritated, but I'll be back with a couple more looks.
right, so I'm back. Here are the next set of looks, and I think they came out really pretty. I really like this eye. It's light. It has that little peachy color to it. So that orange definitely kind of changed because you know it's orange, but it's definitely looking peachy. Now, this eye is really pretty also, but this kind of goes by what I said before. You gotta be careful about putting certain colors together. I just knew that this lighter blue when I showed it to you guys was just gonna come off lighter and you can see the differentiation of colors, but unfortunately you don't <laughs> see this. <laughs> so it's just like, kind of like one of the same sh shadows. So what I put in the inner corner was the Desdemona shade and I matched it with this shade at the top called Cross. So, um, you know, it just kind of all blended together. Now, I did find once again that uh, the shadows work better. You get the most impact when using the mixing medium. This is Mayron mixing medium that I have in here. And um, other than that, I think the, they perform really well. So for my face details, I went in with the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. And this is the shade 7, okay? And I went ahead and took my Minty Cosmetic Bronzer. And then I also topped it off with one of the new Pat McGrath blushes. So this is Paradise Glow. So this is one of those dual blushes. So I think it looks really pretty, nice and warm, really bronzy. And I topped it off with my Divine Rose highlighter. And just to give a little glow. And then I went in with my Ganache lipstick from Fashion Fair. No, oh, let me... There's no lip liner, so that's the lipstick right there. So let's jump into, I think we're gonna do one more look and I'm gonna do it on both of my eyes and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap up. <laughs> Every time I come around you, baby girl, something doesn't feel the same. You said that I'm changing, but it's really you. I see how you play those games. Wifey type for a maid man. A queen can make moves, a king can. Yeah, yeah. Snatch you up, now you take it. Gave you bricks, now you build it. A wall up, wall up. Lately you and I have been all love, all love. I don't know what's up with our love, our love. You forgetting all about us, about us, oh. My Jolie, oh my Jolie, where are you when I need you the most? You still am my age. This is murder, heart is melting, girl, you got me. Called your bluff and made you something, now you're talking. Telling me to cool it off, cool it off. How can I cool it off, cool it off? Telling me to cool it off, cool it off. How can I cool it off, cool it off? All right, I'm back and I'm recording because I was just about to get my whole synopsis and I wasn't even recording. Okay, so look number seven. <laughs> I think it is beautiful and I really do appreciate these two shades together because you could definitely see that, you know, this is a separate color and this is a separate color. So if you remember, I went in with the shade Dreamer, which is the purple that's on the inside and I feel like that's a very beautiful purple. So this was Dreamer and then I put Jaded right here. And then just to give a little bit more dimension because I didn't put a deeper matte in my outer corner, I went ahead and took Poe and just kind of blended it in just a tiny bit. So I feel like all the looks I did, they look nice. They were pretty, but I don't have one that I'm like, oh my God, like, yes. And, you know, it might be because I was trying to use majority of the shades in this palette so I could showcase them to you all. But, you know, sometimes with these duochromes, less is more, you know what I mean? Like, you need to just pick out your standout shade, maybe a small little inner corner highlight and roll with it. Mixing a bunch of shades sometimes, you're not going to get the effect. You're, you're thinking that you're going to get one shift and sometimes you get a different shift because it's paired next to that shadow and you don't get a clear separation of colors. And that especially happened with the shade... Um, um, let's see, with Desdemona that I talked about earlier, and then Cross, and then it was another couple of shades. I was like, okay, that, you know, it didn't bring anything extra to the look, you know what I mean? So um, I just can't think of any looks that I'm like, oh my God. Now there are certain shadows in here that I'm like, yes, these are beautiful, okay? So 
Dreamer, the one I have on my eye right now, and then the shade Rain and Luna. So these three right here, I really do enjoy this peach shade. And then I also do like the shade Storm down here. And I do like the two bronzy colors. So I think Luna is one of my favorite shades though that I am really enjoying. So there's Luna right there where my pinky is. I'm trying to, okay, turn it flat. So <laughs> Luna's right here where I'm kind of like pulling my finger. So I, I do appreciate the color story of this. I did pull out the first one and the difference is when the first one came out, you know, it was a lot of shimmer palettes out there, you know, Adept did theirs and they were the first. And then, you know, eventually a lot of other brands just started coming out the gate with all shimmer palettes. And I feel like, you know, it's been great because, you know, I love a good shimmer. But at the same time, you have to be careful. It's, if you get a sizable collection like I do, you're going to have some dupes. It's just, it is what it is. There are only so many colors in the world <laughs> or people can make up. So here are the two palettes together, okay? So right here, when I'm moving it up and down, that is all I ever wanted. One, and then right here, we have all I ever wanted, two. So you definitely get a wide variety of colors, but I also do see some dupes. In this palette and you know this palette wasn't cheap it was like 50s 60 dollar range you know so i'm gonna kill the light right here so you can definitely see the um the shades a little bit better so one shade that definitely came to mind was the shade Almethia, which is the shade this is all i ever wanted one now this is the shade that i definitely love but adept has no it's bell Cosmetics has the same shade, but I like that formulation better than this one. This one is very, is more hard pressed. It's not as silky, it's not as smooth as um, the, the other one. So this is in the first version. Now I'm gonna pick up the shade Tarot right here. A little bit more orangey. You see that orangey shift? And um, you know, they're definitely different shades, but sometimes, you know, you can't really tell on the eyes, you know? So those are the shades. And then let's see, put them right here. So definitely, you know, obviously one is more pink than the other one. And then the other one you get more golden, but they kind of shift the same, you know? So it is what it is, you know? Then I'm gonna take the shade Passion right here this is passion and i'm going to compare it to dreamer which i have on my inner eyelid so but passion is a shade that i do really like in this palette and i like the formulation it's very soft it's creamy and dreamer feels the same way so here is dreamer okay and i mean to be honest we've We've all seen shades that look like this in any number of palettes, you know, maybe some have a more of a pink shift, maybe some have more of a lighter shift, you know, I'm going to take my watch off. So definitely one is probably more blue from all I ever wanted one and then, but you know, like I said, yeah, I should, you're not going to tell the difference. You're not going to know, you know? Of course, we got to show the two reds. This is Mars from All I Ever Wanted One. And then we have Stoker from Volume Two. Okay. So here are the two together. As you can see, the one from Volume Two right here. That's Volume Two. It has more of a shift to it. It has a little bit more glitter in it. Versus Mars is more of a just a satin matte. So, you know, a small differentiation of color. This one has more, like I said, it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more orangey. I feel like it's pulling. And then, you know, the specks also of glitter that you don't have in the other palette. And we do have quite a few purples in the volume two. So I'm going to take the shade Storm down here at the bottom. And I'm going to compare it to the shade Milky Way. And Milky Way is one of my favorite shades in the first palette. And this is Milky Way. So there they are. 
looking pretty close. Yeah. I mean, it's a slight difference, but not much, not much at all. I think I actually prefer, do I prefer Storm better? Maybe. I feel Storm is not as dry. I definitely feel like Volume 1 is drier than Volume 2 and harder pressed. So I'm going to put a little bit more of Milky Way on there so you can see. But definitely, they're like the same. So, you know, let's see, is there anything else that's super close? Uh, let's see, we can do Alien Princess versus Luna. Alien Princess, Volume 1. These two shades are definitely more flaky. So there you go. And it's looking pretty much the same. You know, it might be a, sh a subtle, just a subtle shift. So, you know. So there we go. Pretty much looking the same. Very beautiful, but it is what it is. So with all of that, um, do I recommend this palette? Okay. I like the quality of the second palette, but if you have the first, you probably don't need this one. I feel like some of the standout shades, you're only going to be purchasing it maybe for a couple shades, okay? Um, am I mad that I have both? No, absolutely not. Am I going to use them? Yes. So, but if you're just trying to really make a, like, can I live without it? I think you could live without it, okay? Especially if you have a sizable makeup collection, especially if you have a whole lot of shimmer palettes that have come out and since 2021, the end of 2020, 2021, and they're still rolling out now, I think you will be okay. Um, the yellows, I do enjoy the color story of this. This is like, you know, it's kind of bright, it's fun, those pops of golds, and, and the golds do kind of, you know, play differently. And I do like that you get some bronze shades. Like this bronze shade is just gorgeous. This is the color night. I think it's just stunning. But, you know, like I keep saying, if you got a sizable makeup collection, you know, you can, you, you have this pretty much, you know. I mean, I have it somewhere, maybe. But I do really like this. So I do like that you get a few more neutrals. You get a little different variations, but there are still a lot of shadows that look very much alike. So it's all on what you can justify, honestly. So, you know, if you're looking to just save some money and you are really trying to take yourself out of it, I'm here to tell you, you know, I don't think you need it. If you have volume one, pull out volume one and play with it. You know what I mean? Of course, there are a couple of unique shades. Like I really like the shade rain and you're not going to find that in volume one. Um... But I feel like everything else is slightly dupable, you know? So it is what it is. <laughs> so, I mean, if this is your first, okay, let's see. If I was to have to pick between one or two, I don't think one is around at the moment, okay? But if you were just like, okay, I don't have either one, who I think me personally, I might go with this one, volume two. I do like the quality of this. Um, you know, you have to spray it, but I mean, that's like everything all the time. You know, they do work well. With, blah, blah, blah. They do work well with brushes. That's what I'm trying to say. But I think, you know, the both of the palettes are really pretty, R really pretty for sure. But, you know, if I had to pick one, I don't know. I really like this one too. So, but I do know that there are certain things like I don't particularly care for how stiff this is in the pan and I'm not getting those type of vibes from volume two. So <laughs> I don't know. I'll keep you updated, you know, in my palette ranking. I have a lot of palettes to go through for palette ranking. I'm sure this video is already long. So like, let me just shut up. Let me know what you guys think about the palette down below in the comments. Did you pick it up? Let me know which looks you like, what shades you're feeling. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be very soon. And last but not least, subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. So with all of that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the chat dance. Chat dance. Hey, 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 chat dance. Mm, mm, chat dance. Mm, 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 chat dance. Hey.
All right, y'all. Bye.